everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are doing awesome. You're having a great week so far. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and welcome. I'm so glad to have you. So, you know, pull up a chair, sit down, relax, grab your glass of wine, a cup of coffee, you know, whatever time of day it may be and just kind of chill out and hang and chill out with me. And, you know, everybody that subscribed to me, I just love you guys so much. You guys are just so, so awesome. It fulfills my heart every single day and I'm just so glad that you're part of my life and I really, really do appreciate it. So, today we're going to be talking about the um, Huda Glowish. Um, it's the Luminous Pressed Powder. And I also got the Blush. And we also have the Hendish um, Liquid Liner. We're also going to be trying it out. Um, the Heroline is the name of it. Um, so I've been very curious about this Liquid Liner. Um, we have a lot of the catch up with guys. So I've got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so if you guys are interested in um, this and hearing about me or anything else, you know, then stick around and um, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so I am uh, moisturized, I've, you know, shaved and everything. Um, I primed, I've already done my Capture Total. I did my Perfector, my Dream Skin Perfector by Dior. And I just love it. It just makes my skin look so good whenever I do it. I just really enjoy it. So anyway, um, we're going to make ourselves even more dewier because I've heard a lot about this foundation. So um, lots of different people, a lot of different results with this. Um, I'm a little behind on some of my product reviews, so I'm so sorry. But you know what? Better late than never. So um, anyway, I've actually been testing this out for a couple days. Um, I kind of already have a feel of what I think of it and everything, where all that kind of good stuff. So, um, so let's just get into it. So, um, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's very clean. It's very lightweight. Um, the, um, the foundation retails for, I think it's $33. Um, it's like a powder. It's a luminous powder slash foundation. So it's almost like a powder foundation, but you can also use it as a finishing powder, however you want to look at it. 80% naturally derived ingredients. That's what it is. I can think of what it is. My brain is not here yet. I'm just all over the place. Um, so anyway, um, it looks, it looks just like this. So the packaging is really cool. You can tell that I've been using it already. Um, it's a really, really beautiful powder. It's really pretty. Um, I just want to let you guys know though that the second ingredient in this is mica. And I don't know if anybody is really, is talc is the first ingredient and mica is the second. So if you have any issues with talc, this is not going to be for you. If you have any issues with mica or if you just prefer it more in like a, you know, like a highlighter or whatever, then this powder is not going to be for you. Um, it's said to be like an eight hour wear on it. Um, it's got a silky glow. It's buildable. Um, it blurs imperfections. It also is supposed to actually doesn't settle in the lines. Um, you know, but, um, so far, I mean, I've got to say, I've really enjoyed this so far. So, I have two Real Techniques brush uh, bunches here, um, and, you know, they're both dampened. I mean, one is a powder and one is a foundation, uh, more of a foundation one. We're going to use the powder one since this is kind of made for powder. Um, it's gotten a little bit more drier, so I'm going to take a little bit more water and add a little bit more to it. You can use it damp. You can use it dry. I know that Huda uses hers. I actually, she spoke to me actually on inter, um, Instagram, internet, <laughs> Instagram. I can't talk today. Um, so anyway, she on Instagram, I asked her because on, when she did the video, it kind of looked like she did, um, it, I don't know if it was wet or if it was dry. I wasn't really sure. Um, but actually, it was um, dry is the way she normally uses it. Well, I like to use mine wet. So, because um, I just like the way that it kind of looks a little bit better. I've tried it dry too, but I just prefer it this way. Um, but we're just going to dig in. So, I have this in the shade um, medium tan. Um, if you guys know, my face is usually, um, it's usually a little bit lighter than my, uh, neck because my body is a little bit darker. So I usually try to go in and try to match my neck. So we're going to just go right in and just dig in it. So I'm just, I'm just that was just one swipe and we're just going to go in and put it right in. I'm just going to put it all over. Kind of blend it into my neck area. And I usually like to do my concealer after. I know everybody that normally does powder foundation, they like to do theirs a little bit more. They like to do their concealer first. I always like to do my concealer after. That's just the way I've always kind of done it. But you see how much coverage that give. And that was like a swipe. And this is damp. 
So, I mean, it gives a really, really good coverage. You can see that it looks really, really pretty. It's got a very beautiful look to it. Um, I know that a lot of people have said that it looks very, very glowy. Um, I don't think so. I think it looks just perfect. If you're dry, I think you would really, really enjoy this foundation. Um, it just, it, to me, it just stays on really, really well. It's, uh, it does the eight hour claim on me, even with the mask on. It stayed on me really, really well. Um, I've not had an issue with it so far. I've really enjoyed it. I've been wearing it almost every day, um, to work and I've been testing it out. Um, you know, wearing it, um, with, um, uh, wearing it with the mask on, and I've really, really enjoyed it. So I really haven't had a problem with it. Um, I love it. I think it's a great powder. Um, to just giving you guys that little, uh, that, you know, spoiler alert right there to just let you guys know that I really like it. But it looks real, I think it looks really good on the skin. I'm usually not crazy about powder foundations. I normally don't like them. Um, they normally look a little bit, um, unrealistic to me. They usually look really, really matte, and I don't like that. I like more of a glowy foundation. Um, I will put it up here normally what my skin type is, and uh, it's got my age and everything. I know what I look for in a foundation, but typically I'm not too into powders, but this one is very unique, and I really enjoy it. Um, the most of the people that I've seen that have tried it have either been maybe a little bit more on the combo side or maybe they've been a little bit more on the, um, maybe oilier side even. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend this for anybody that's like that. I definitely would kind of just go, I would, if I was you and if you're dry or maybe normal and you like a glow and you want a powder, um, this would be great. And you can also use it as a setting powder too, but it's got a lot of mica in it. So it is very, it's got that kind of a luministic kind of glow to it. Um, you know, in the lighting, especially, it looks really, really good. Um, I just really, really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna go back over with just a little bit of my other sponge. And just kind of go around and just kind of make sure we got it blended in. And, um, and then after I do this, I take a little bit of my Tati Blendful. And then I just press it into the skin. And if you really want a good wear out of this, spray a good long wear spray over top of it. I've tried it with the Huda Boss Spray. Or, I mean, is it, is it Boss? I think it's the Boss Setting Spray. I've tried it with that one. I've tried it with her coconut one. Um, I've also tried um, the L'Oreal Infallible with it, the Charlotte Tilbury with it. So quite a few different sprays. Um, if it's a more of a longer wearing spray, it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna stay on a little bit better. If it's more of a hydrating spray, it may not stay on as well. But it just looks really beautiful to me. I just it just goes right into my skin. I really love the way that it looks. It looks very healthy to me. It doesn't look like too much or not enough or what have you. Um, but I just love the way that it looks. I mean, I think it's a really pretty foundation. I mean, that's just me. I know that everybody has different opinions on things and what they kind of like. But so far, I have really, really enjoyed this foundation or this powder. Um, and I'm just really shocked because I really didn't think I was going to care for it much. But I really ended up really enjoying it. And like I said, I've been wearing it every day. And um, especially if you're... Um, a guy or a girl that really wants something just lightweight, but you like a glow, you like a more of a heavier glow to it. I think it would be really great. Just be careful um, when you do when you apply it with the sponge. It will be you know you will get more of a fuller coverage with the sponge. Um, and you will get more of a lighter coverage with the brush. But just remember also that it's going to leave you a little bit more dewier. So if you want to put it in just places where you're just a little bit more drier, um, that's where I would put it. And then maybe in the center, maybe do something a little bit more on the matte side just to keep. Keep it more um, so you don't be too glowy in the center. You know, I like my nose to glow. I don't really care. If you guys know, I'm a disco ball and I love it. So really care. It doesn't really bother me any. But I mean, but um, but some people just don't like that. They don't like that look. So I mean, it just depends on what it is. Um, I know that I saw my good friend Tara Lynn. She did a review on it. Absolutely didn't like it, but I knew that she probably wasn't going to like it before she even bought it, tried it. I knew there was probably going to be a little bit too much for her, um, but um, but yeah, it's like, but you can definitely, if I remember, I will try to link her review down below if you want to see it on another skin type, um, but it, I just really, really like it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I will say this though, guys, when I got it in, um, I bought it from... Did I get it from, I think I got it from Sephora. Did I get it from Sephora or Huda? I got it from Sephora. So I ordered it the day that it came out off of Sephora. Um, and it came not too long after that because Sephora doesn't take too long to get here. But unfortunately, all of the powder was completely busted. So this powder is very soft.
So just be very careful with it because it will break. It will break if you drop it a lot or anything because this is not much of a container to really hold it or whatever. And these soft pressed powders, they will just crumble all to pieces. But it was all busted up. So I went to my local Sephora and while I was, um, while I was in a mall because I was actually there to work and I just walked into the Sephora and they exchanged it for me. And so I just exchanged it out. And so it wasn't a problem. It wasn't an issue. Um, they were really sad and sorry that I'm Unfortunately, that kind of broke, but I mean, things happen, you know, but, um, but it is a great, it's a great powder. I really like it so far. So, so far, so good with this. You guys are going to have to let me know down below. Like, what do you think? Have you guys seen, um, have you guys played with this powder at all? Have you, um, have you went into Sephora and actually, you know, played with it, seen what you kind of thought of it? Um, did you, did you like it? Um, you know, have you bought it? Have you tried it? I mean, is it something that you want to try? Um, I personally, um, I really like it again. I really think it's great. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. Sorry. I'm talking about five things at one time. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's a really good powder. But I mean, you know, but again, um, every skin type is different and um, everybody has their different um, ways of liking things. Um, so it just depends on your personal preference. Um, but if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking a little bit of concealer. I mix a little bit of my Chanel. I love doing this trick. I love it. I've mixed my Chanel with, um, the, um, a little bit of the Anastasia. I really like mixing those together. I also love mixing my Anastasia and my Patrick Star together. But my Chanel, this, um, Le, Le Corrector Rose, is just like something Erin, um, Nicole, um, she, way back last year in like last January, she has got me really hooked on this stuff. I really just really enjoyed it. I use it all the time and I mix it with a concealer. Like if a concealer is too dark or I just want a little bit more brightness in my concealer, I just add a little bit to it and then I just mix them together on the back of my hand and then I just go over little areas that I want to just kind of like lighten up a little bit. You know, just in case I don't want it to be too dark. But um, you guys can see I've like, I've like, um, been I've really been doing a lot of treatments on my skin um and I've not been doing a lot of self tanner on my face or anything so that's the reason why my skin doesn't look as dark as it did but my neck does so it's like so I have to kind of blend it together but I've been doing a lot of retinol and everything um at night and then uh you know kind of doing glycolic and a lot of other different things you know uh, you know kind of alternating um, and kind of doing treatments and exfoliation, but yeah, it just looks really pretty. It just is very clear. It looks really fresh to me. I mean, but you guys have to let me know down below what you think. So anyway, so now going on to the next thing. So let's, um, do we want to do that? Let's go ahead and do the blush. Let's do the blush first. So, so this is the blush. This is, I got it in the shade Berry Juicy. Um, I wanted to get it in a little bit of a different type of a, um, color. I didn't want to get it in, um, everybody else was getting like the coral colors and a little bit lighter, you know, like the peachier colors. So I wanted to get something a little bit more, um, just a little bit more on the berry side. So I thought I would get this shade. So I thought, cause I needed a, something a little berry-ish. I didn't have a lot, I don't have a lot of berry colors. So I thought I'd get that. Got the reference, the brush set. Um, there was a three brush set. I don't remember which other one was. I always forget which one it kind of came with it. I think it was this one. It was this one. This one and these two. Um, they all came together as a set, um, and, you know, uh, they just actually, um, launched their holiday, actually, as of today is Tuesday. They actually launched it last night, and it's already pretty much sold out already, um, so, but anyway, but I was gifted this from my fairy godmother. Thank you, fairy godmother. Um, you know who you are. Um, I said I wasn't going to say your name on camera, but, um, I really do appreciate her. I love her so much. She's so wonderful, and, um, she happened to have a extra set of this, and so she sent me some and I really do appreciate it because I have a lot of the other refer brushes and refer brushes are, if you guys have not really noticed between them and my, um, my BK Beauty brushes, they're my favorite. Um, and I just love them. And this set is just absolutely stunning. They're just really beautiful. Um, it's just great. This is like a foundation bronzer, cream bronzer type product. This is for loose or what have you. And you could use concealer for this one too, or cream for this one as well. Um, you could also use it for shadow, whatever you want to use it for. Um, I think brushes are kind of like, they may have a title, but you can use brushes for whatever you really want to use them for, but they're just really, really super beautiful. And I just wanted to thank my fairy godmother for that. So thank you, fairy godmother. Um, so anyway, so let's get into the blush. So I'm going to take a little bit on my um, Refer 04 brush. It's a little bit more of an angle brush. And we're going to dip in here. Now, 
This is pretty pigmented. I've definitely been using this for um, a couple days and I really like this. It's very pretty. It's very soft. Um, it's got a very, it's buildable. So you can definitely build them up if you want. Um, it depends on what you're kind of, you know, how much blush you like. I like a little bit all over my face. I like a little bit here. I like it wherever the sun would hit me. Normally, when the sun hits me, I get a little bit of it on my forehead. I get it on my cheeks. I get it on my nose. And because I'm Indian, um, my skin turned really, really red. Um, cause I just, I've got Cherokee in me. So I definitely get that red i get really really red easy um just because it just and but it but it's not a red it looks like a red like a tan red it's not like a burnt red but i just get because it's just the red in my skin just kind of comes out but um but i really like it see it's really really beautiful it's blending in really beautifully um it goes into the skin really nice it's it's like a mineral it's almost like a mineral powder type feel it's very very soft it's got a soft touch it's like it's very powdery but look how pigmented it is it's really pigmented you would look at it and be like it doesn't look like it would be that pigmented but it is really really pigmented it's very pretty take a little bit more down here and i thought we'll go great with my little fall theme back in the back and my little shirt today so you know we're trying to feel we're trying to feel our inner thought fall you know believe it or not god can you believe it? it's like only like what, 11 more days before halloween it's crazy so um so anyway um so what do you guys think it's really pretty see it's very glowy it's very fresh it looks very radiant um we're going to do a little bit of just a little, I'm going to go off in camera and I'm going to do a little bit of a, um, just the eyeshadow base really quick. Just something really light. We're not going to do a lot on the eyes. It's going to be very, very light. And, um, it's going to, cause I'm doing a really dramatic lip. So I don't want to do too much, but I wanted a little bit of liquid liner before we did our lashes. So I'm going to go off camera and do that and we'll come back and we will try to pray for me on this hand. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not really good with liquid ladder. So I'll be right back. We are ready to try the liquid liner out by Handish. Um, and it's called Hero Lean, I think is the name of it. Um, or I don't know if it's a hero line, but it's like hero lean, I think is what kind of basically what it says. I mean, you guys don't know who Hendish is. He's a really, really, um, amazing makeup artist. He's like, um, he does these beautiful looks and the man can do liquid liner like there is no tomorrow. I mean, he can literally draw anything with liquid liner. And I've been seeing him do a lot of looks with this liner and it's really, really super cool. Um, you know, um, his company is over in Dubai. Um, so when you do order it, it doesn't take too long to get here. I mean, I actually got here pretty quickly. It came from DHL. Um, and I can't remember how much it was. I want to say it was like maybe it was, it was around in the 20 ish, 25 ish on up or something like that, maybe. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. So it looks just like this. And, um, the liner is really cute. I've kind of taken it out a little bit. I'm so sorry. My shirt keeps riding up on me. I don't know. I can't get it to stay down in the back. I'm like going to drive me crazy. It's one of them shirts that drives me nuts. I like it, but it just drives me crazy. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's very clean. It's very sleek. Um, it has the hero lean on the end of it. Um, and then when you open it, it actually has the, um, it has the felt tip on the end of it. The brush is very, very small. It almost looks just like a marker almost. Um, it looks really 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 pretty um when you actually do it it actually does create a very very small it can create a very small delicate line i want to say um if i'm not mistaken i think it's supposed to be like pretty much like waterproof transfer resistant um it's it just is not going anywhere and it creates the perfect line um so if you guys know i'm not really good with liquid i'm good, okay i'm that much better on liquid liner on other people because of being a makeup artist i'm fine with doing it on other people I'm not doing good at doing it on myself. So, um, so it's a little, good me, it's a little bit of a challenge for me, but you know what? We're going to play with it and see what happens. Um, so I have the, also have the Natasha Denona and I also have the, um, the Huda Beauty as well. Her brush looks a little bit smaller. This one looks a little bit similar to the Natasha Denona. Um, but I'm really curious to see what the point is going to do. Okay, you guys are not going to believe it, but I did my liquid liner and realized the camera wasn't on. So we had to do this again. <laughs> So we're going to go back and do this again. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I really do. I'm really so sorry. I feel so bad. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I don't have the camera on. I mean, duh. Just, it's just like my day today. Let me tell you. Okay, so we're going to go in here again.
it seems really easy to put on. It's not hard at all. It dries really quickly. And I will tell you, once it dries though, it's going to stay. I noticed that whenever I was taking it off, it was like, it definitely stays on. It does not move. So if you're looking for a good liquid liner that does not go anywhere, this is going to definitely be for you. And you want a really good, true black because that is really pretty. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, you know that I'm not really big into wings. Um, my eye is just really not the kind for wing. I mean, I could do a baby wing, but I just prefer just more behind my lashes. It's just something the way I like it. But you definitely could wing this out big time. I mean, you should definitely, if you, if you, you should check him out on Instagram. His Instagram is really, really cool. He does a, he does a beautiful job. Ooh, that's so pretty. Wow, this is really nice. It's such a really good, it, like, I'm telling you, man, it, like, it's a really good black liquid liner. I mean, it's not going nowhere. It just, once you put it on, it stays on really, really well. And it, once it dries, it's not going to come off. It just, it's already, see, it's already started to dry. And it's not coming off the back of my hand. It's crazy. It's like, it's a, it's a really tense formula. I really, really like it. Um, so, hmm, all right, all right, Mr. Hendish, we just got, we're, we're very impressed, and I'm not very good with liquid liner either, so I'm no artist like him with the liquid liner, especially on myself, um, but it's definitely, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be to put it on, it actually went on pretty easy for a liquid liner, so I'm pretty impressed with that. So, what do you guys think? I got to finally put on my Masquerade Lipstick by Huda. Um, I love it. It's really dramatic. It's very in your face. But this is such a boss lipstick, let me tell you. It's like, you just feel so empowered and so, it's just so vampy. I love it. It's just like a, definitely a very diva-istic type lipstick. So, I really, really like it. It's really cool. Um, and to let you guys know too, I just did P. Louise eyeshadow base and um, I did it in the, it's in the lighter shade. It's in Rumor Zero. Um, I just did it on my lid. There's no eyeshadow on my lid. It's just this and I just did the liquid and then I did my Dior mascara. I did a little bit of that, but that's it. And then, um, yeah, and I did a little bit of Club Hopper a little bit with the N NYX with this together. But yeah, it turned out really, really pretty. So what do you guys think? So, um, so just my, Final thoughts on everything. If you haven't really already figured it out, I really, really love this. I think it's great. Um, if you've got dry skin, I think it's a great product. Um, it wears well. It stays on well. It's great for a powder. It doesn't look like a powder to me. It looks, it stays on my skin pretty good. Um, I really, really am enjoying it so far. Um, if you're someone that's oily though, or somebody that doesn't like glow, remember again, mica is the number two ingredient in it. Um, you know, metallic is the number one ingredient in it. So if either one of those bother you, or if you just don't like it, um, it's going to be a pass for you. Um, if you're just oily, I would just move on to the Huda baking powder powder or the loose. It's so much better. Um, or, or do the liquid or the stick. I think you would enjoy that much, much better, especially the liquid if you're oilier. Um, if you're combination, same thing. I would just move on to the stick or the liquid um, and do the loose powder because her loose powder is more matte. Um, this one is just not, it's, you know, unless you just want to glow around the face or maybe use it as a finishing powder, um, unless you're normal or norm, or, nor, or very dry, um, I just don't think you're going to like this. Um, you know, because again, it's just got that beautiful luminosity of the skin. I did spray it, um, so it just kind of set it down and it made it look easier even more prettier after I set it. So it just looks really nice. It's just a beautiful foundation to me. Um, as far as the blushes go, I love them. I can't wait for her to come out with more colors. Um, I might eventually maybe pick up one of the peachier ones or maybe another shade, but I'm going to wait and see what she does with these. But I just love this color. I love this color this time of year. I think it looks like a healthy flush like you've been in the wind. And I really love that um, berry look. And I think it looks really pretty with just a very clean eye. I just think it looks really, really nice. And um, as far as the Hennish goes, I love it. It's really beautiful. It does not come off. It is a beautiful, clean, matte 
finish. It's very clean. It's very fresh. Um, and again, it stays on really, really well. So once you put it on, it ain't gonna budge. So just keep that in mind. Um, you may not like, some people don't like this kind of a tip. Um, you know, but out of the three, I mean, you know, this is, I like all three of them. The Huda's great. It's just a very, very small brush. So if you're a really beginner, that one's a really good one. Um, this one reminds me a little bit more of the Natasha Denona. I think it's called the Microblade liquid eyeliner i'm not really sure but it's um but it also they both kind of sim a little similar natasha's brush is just a little thicker um his is just a little bit thinner but again it's still like a marker brush so if you don't like that marker kind of a liquid liner you're not going to like it if you like more of a smaller brush it just depends on the brush size and kind of like what you like um you know because it's all about size you know these days <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, you know, please make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did. Um, you know, cause that just helped me out a lot. Um, I'm so glad you stuck around with me and hung out with me for a little while. Um, I really, really do appreciate you spending the time with me. It really makes, makes me feel special. Um, so anyway, you guys have a good rest of your day. Remember, you know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall. And most of all, you know, share a little kindness today. Um, you know, also and love yourself. Um, I forget and God I forget. Like I've my little thing. But I would say it after a while. I'm like, oh my God, what did I say? So, um, so yeah, don't forget to love yourself. And, you know, and also, you know, um, tell somebody that you love them today. And, you know, that can really, really make a difference to someone in their day. And, you know, you just never know these days. So always make sure you tell the people that you love that you love them on a daily basis because, um, it really does mean a lot. And, um, with that said, guys, I am out of here. So, um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and we will see you again in the next episode. So bye.